What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick off where we left off, the Marathas have uh, launched a devastating assault on my territories, but we are in the process of taking them back. We have this army under Timothy Sutton marching north towards Havana in order, and we're going to go and chew up these troops. They've also taken Nassau, which we will take back in due course. Um, and it's a bit of a uh, bit of a uh, eye opener in that we do need to keep our navies, Ready. keep our navy up together to more better intercept the enemy forces. So I'm probably going to auto that, and then take this fifth rate into our service. Let's see if it runs to the coast. No, I can't chase it down. Let's get it back to back to port. You're going to march up. You're on your way to Panama. You're having to keep an eye out for this force here, just in case they try and go south to Bogota. Then we're going to go hit Panama. That seems pretty good. We're about to get um, abolition of slavery. Then Oxford's going to switch to classical economics. Cambridge is working on an infantry doctrine, light infantry doctrine, which is good. Far in advance would be useful, like quite useful to get the training un training level bonus. But Line Infantry Doctrine is also cool because that gives us Swiss Mountain Rangers, Queen's Rangers, Hessen Jaegers, Light Cavalry Sharpshooters, Chasseur Britannique, African Light Infantry Mercenaries, and Colonial and Regular Light Infantry. That's pretty badass. The rifle. Rifles give us the Irish Rifles, the Connacht Rangers, Sharpshooters, and Green Jackets, which is pretty cool. Platoon Firing just gives us some bonuses. Screw Breach obviously gives us Ferguson Riflemen, which are pretty damn awesome. But we can't get many of them. Um, and in Europe. Hmm. So clearly trying to bash through here is a bad idea. Try and replenish whatever we can here. When this army is a bit stronger, I might send Andrew Hardy over to Porto. Maybe not attack Lisbon, but threaten Lisbon to try and draw some troops away. I think that's probably a good idea. But let's hit end turn because I don't have any money to do anything like that. Let's actually make some room on my desk to move my mouse. Yeah, so Spain's quite clearly massing on my on the front on on the front they share with us, which we can't. Don't a we can't really fight because I don't want to move my fleet. Why have I minimized? Don't quite know why my minim I minimized the desktop there. Um. Do I want to intercept the Marathas? Absolutely. I want to take this opportunity to uh, do some damage to them for free in a defensive action because I've not got... I've got a lot of muskets but I don't have a lot of artillery. So being able to chew them up one small stack at a time will be excellent. So let's see what the terrain is like. The terrain's pretty good. So the guns are going to be at the centre of our position. Get our Hessian line... Our Hessian line to form the right flank. Infantry to form the left flank. I don't have my headphones on, no wonder it sounded a bit funny. Let's create some detachments to go around the flanks. Pike's going to go. I'm going to sit behind the artillery for now. Artillery out on the flanks. General in the centre. That's all they got. Lancers, lots of armed peasantry, Royal Indian Infantry Guards that are heavily depleted, General's Bodyguard, Dervishes, Lancers, Horsemen. Let's get the cavalry out on the flank, let's get you guys like this. Okay, apart from that, I don't think there's a huge amount to do. Let's 
Sikh Musketeers. They're not too bad. And they do have bayonets. Although, to be honest, the Marathas dominate the continent, so it's not unexp it's not surprising that they uh, have those techs. So speed up time, because we've intercepted them, so they are on the offensive. Curl the flank in. These lancers are probably looking at our. I was going to say looking at our um, buccaneers because they're only light infantry. Okay, let's get my guns switching to canister shot, begin to blast apart the armed peasantry. You guys have hit that square, so you guys break out, take up position on the flank, buccaneers, charge those. I thought that, I thought that orange bit was a flag poking through. Um, buccaneers charge the cavalry in combat. My cavalry hit the lancers. Bring some infantry round to threaten the general. Okay, maybe you guys focus on the infantry guards. The buccaneers have gone in. The lancers have been broken. Get you guys out of square into line. Cavalry, move up. Deploy the pikes. Deploy the cavalry. Get my gunners away. There we go, now we've got a good scrum. But I do have pikemen in the mix, so they should do pretty darn well. Especially as I've got a bunch of cavalry and I've charged them in the rear. Charge the line infantry guards. Like I said, my gunners have booked it. Got a musket battle here on the flank, which would be nice to sort out. Pretty ricky tick. You guys are in position. There we go. Ah, nuts. Okay, you guys charge, you guys push up to that flank. So I got my pikemen in there, so those lancers and the horsemen, well that flank, this cluster should die real quick. Because there's two units of cavalry and a unit of armed peasants, and my pikes are involved in that combat, so... Yeah, the general's been pushed back. My line infantry engages. I mean, they're mostly chaff units, really. Let's break one unit of cavalry away. No, don't run into that crossfire. Okay, you guys take up a new position. Then my cavalry begin to engage the leftovers. I'm not going to get my cavalry, my general involved. Ah, 
come on, a handful of Seek Musketeers, they've been dealt with. You guys should knock out these dervishes. Good. Ooh, Royal Indian Infantry Guards. Priority. There we go. I've got to send a message to the Marathas that their military adventurism on our shores is not going to be tolerated. So there's one last unit all the way over here who's going to make it to the edge of the map. There we go. Close victory. I don't think so. That was quite a good win. So you've pushed them back. And this time they've tried to go around us. Uh, you can continue your raiding if you like, Spain. You know what's coming. You demand peace. But you want peace? No. Not interested, Spain. Not interested. We have an empire to build. Mm, Dutch rebels. I doubt they're going to overthrow the French government, though. So you're at full strength, marching on Panama. You can replenish. Where was our other army that needed replenishment? That was down here. Your orders, Your Majesty. Okay, let's recruit some Royal Cairo Infantry Guard to provide some elites, and then we will move that army in due course. But we do need to boost our economy. I think state building or government building will probably be quite important to that to boost tax revenues. Some good new buildings, especially buildings in Colombia where we've got more of our ports online. Good. So you're on your way. Ready for action. Eh, you take out this last we're at the ship there. These guys are in a holding pattern for now. There we go. Oh, we lost two ships for that. Greedy, greedy. Fashion, Captain. I mean, we, this, is, this isn't our port. This isn't our dock yet until we've <laughs> recapture it from the Marathas. But we will do. So you're still recruiting troops, but well. Re sort of recruiting troops. Okay, we've got unit requests, so let's get some late war marines. I can't get Scottish line infantry, Scottish light infantry, sorry. There you go, she's gone straight on to classical economics, which is great. After abolition of slavery. So our biggest region is still. Hey, Koningsberg is leapfrogged. Um. Mexico, because Mexico was second. Uh, 106 growth per turn. Koningsberg is also up to 106. I think Koningsberg doesn't even have... Well, it's got a couple of buildings that can upgrade. Hmm. Some new uh, Grenadiers in New Andalusia. Yep, you're ready. Well, we're going to have to end up attacking the pirates in due course. But we're going to take this army. Ready and awaiting order. March south and Ready then north. And or east and then north. To go attack these Marathas. Because they're trying to boot our ships out of port. And we can't let them do it. We're going to have to knock them out. And there's not going to be a lot about it. They can, not a lot they can do about it. But if you push them back towards Colombia, let's take... Okay, my gunners... I've got one unit of guns left, so they're going to stay behind. Make a grand line. Keep a unit back as a reserve, even though I don't normally ever have a reserve. All our cavalry mass on the left. Pikes... Mass our cavalry on the right. Pikes on the left. 
with our Buccaneers. General in the centre. Because we do want to push. Well, we have to push, but I want to push, especially because some of these troops have got some quite good levels of experience, except for the 92nd. Weren't they a Highland Regiment? But it looks like they're trying to change their formation up, which will be bad news for them. So our left is going to be what engages first. I mean they are mostly oh, landless rabble. Haven't even seen them before I don't think. Well, they're going to uh, get the first get the first treatment from the British troops. Yeah, as the volleys come crashing in, I hear a charge. You guys charge the dervishes, get a cavalry to smash into them. My other cavalry continue. Got a landless rabble charging on this flank, so let's give them some support. go dervishes are down attack the pindari horsemen just don't let them have a chance to regroup and the job of this these cavalry units is to attack the routing troops to make sure they shatter Let's see they are gonna attempt to be charged by the landless rabble here to try and slow them down but that's not going to happen. Keep pushing other troops forward. Just to make sure they too get the message, you guys charge that landless rebel because you're going to intercept. There they go down. this cavalry in. And it looks like apart from that rabble that's charged all the way back here, they're still alive. And this cavalry over here, so drop your man into I was about to say drop you into square actually, but you are skirmish cavalry, so Yeah, but they've charged us because they know if they don't charge that cavalry unit, we'll just chase them down and destroy them. Yeah, there we go. Continue, but just let our cavalry units continue to attack. As usual, might get my general involved on this in this one. Although it might be too late. I'm not expecting them to kill the landless rebel, but I'm expecting them to do a lot of damage to them at the very least. So my general, it would be really useful for my general to get a chevron here. There we go. Good stuff. Although they've routed now, so... They're going to route for sure, so may as well make them all focus on this landless rebel unit. And my general. Just 
focus all on them. Come on, knock him out. Eight men left. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Nice. So we're continuing to make progress towards Cuba. You can take some money to reinforce whatever you need to. Our tech's going to be coming in just fine. We can't do any real diplomacy because well, D Denmark won't want to trade with us. Nope. All right, let's hit end turn. Yep, the rebels have been squashed by the French because that's their new, well, in effect, that's their new government. At some point, the Ottomans are going to declare on us because they're aware. Well, they've not sailed an army up to my gates in in uh, North North Africa just because they're interested in what's going on, and they're going to even be even less um, and even less happy about it when we start to push east against the Barbary states. So I should really sink some money into... Ooh, good old Knights of St. John. I should really sink some money into building more troops in... Well, finish building the army in Britain. So I can then send them to North Africa. Or do I just raise an army in North Africa to push east against the Barbaries? Because I won't necessarily need the most powerful ships I can bring to bear. Most powerful um, uh, armies, sorry. Like, do I take Flynn Gardner? Do I raise you up and do I go for... Oh, I can get some Crossiers and get some lifeguards. Let's get Crossier because it's former Spanish territory. Getting some Cairo Infantry Guards. Get some Colonial Light just to bolster your numbers. Because when... Okay, let's build you into a Grand Opera House. We don't need to generate any more... Any more, um, gentlemen? So when this army's more solid, I mean, they're going to position against the Barbary states, but mostly be ready as a backup for Tangier. I mean, lots of really good upgrades. Expensive ones, though. That's the thing. At this, when we start to reach this level. Like Moose Factory, Government Council gets me another 3% bonus to tax income. And more repression. Hmm. First, let's go to Mexico. Got metal roads. Military upgrades I'm not so bothered by in Mexico, but I might upgrade this port and this farm just to keep. The growth of town's high. So we've got eight turns till Tampico is grown. Again, that's Monterey. Uh, it's Villa Hermosa. God knows where Tampico is. It's funny, really. This this part of the sea, I don't think there's no there's no ports on the west coast. Even though there are these trade trade nodes, there's no actual. I don't think there's a way to get in there. So you keep on marching. There, look, looks like they're marching to, the, to their aid, but it's not going to help. Then back here in England, so I'm getting a unit of marines. I know what I'm going to get if I can recruit it, which it doesn't look like I can because I haven't got the cash. I'm going to get a knock volley gun unit. There we go. Royal Marines. Because they've got some good melee abilities and they've got quite good close range if close range damage with their volley gun. It's a pity they're not modelled with one, but there isn't one in-game, so that's understandable. Okay. Elsewhere, actually, the in 
in Europe, I feel pretty safe because all of my cities are garrisoned quite well. Let's upgrade a farm, I suppose. Average yield, me yield. This one it is. Although you have no farms, you have no um, territories to, uh, no villages to grow, so I might actually be better off upgrading a farm somewhere else if I've missed a cheap one. Which, to be honest, I don't think I have. So you guys can now march on to the capital. They are trapped. <laughs> We're going to maintain siege because our armies aren't necessarily the best ones for siege assault. Um, and looking at it, it's probably... I may as well just upgrade that farm in Morocco. Okay, let's head in turn. So there goes the Ottoman Empire, sailing around, as usual, the cheeky scamps. I'm hoping we don't go to war, but if we do, I need to be ready, and that's why I want to. That's why I want to own Spain because I'm thinking that's a brilliant. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, Sweden, Prussia, thirteen colonies. You better back me up. Good. Right. <laughs> okay. They're gonna go blockade um, Bristol. Very well, Russia. You've done it now. Russia's done for. If they attacked someone else in my alliance, I might have betrayed them. But no, they went for me, so uh, that means their, their little game is done. Ooh, and the Marathas are sallying from Havana. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the war in against the new Spain. Those armies, one of them is going to... No, I suppose the, what the army that's attacking Cuba can, re can capture all the pirate territories. Those two armies are going to go uh, to Europe and be brought to bear against Russia to knock them out. So they're sallying. Ooh, terrain's a bit funky. So... Okay, let's create one wing to face off any units that come through this channel. The rest of you, just again, as usual, form a great line. I don't care that it's, they're not as efficiently laid out as they need to, as they can be. Doesn't matter. Get all my cover on. <clears throat> Normal cover on the left where it's a bit more freed up. So it's definitely crank the speed up because uh, the AI can be a bit funky. Okay, so come on. I can spread you guys out a little bit like that. You do, do have cavalry, Pindari horsemen are back there, landless rabble, more Pindari horsemen. Lots of these landless rabble units, the units that have uh, fled the field from the previous engagement. But it looks like what I'm going to do is chop the recording and bring you guys back when something interesting happens. So see you in a second, everyone. There we go. And now something's happening. The enemy is advancing and they're sending up their cavalry. Where's my get some buccaneers over us for support for my cavalry okay so make sure you guys don't get involved charge So they've shot my infantry, which means that their ammunition is exhausted, largely exhausted. Let's get my general involved. Yeah, 
even, even. Regiment of Horse is winning slightly. So the rest of my cavalry, the rest of my force has to push away their cavalry attack with muskets. Go at him, General. Get my bandits in, my buccaneers in. General's doing okay. There we go, now we've turned the tide. So the Buccaneers are only light infantry, but they are melee infantry, so they're not terrible. They're not as good as a light infantry unit, line infantry unit, but but whatever. So the horsemen, Pindari horsemen, have been repulsed. They're firing into the cavalry combat. So let's push some infantry up to draw that fire. Maybe get my buccaneers to go over here to help support my general. So you men open up against the Dakili peasantry. Elsewhere we are opening up against their infantry. The horsemen have made their made my troops have to fire individually. Good. Let's get my cavalry elements back for now. Hopefully we can get the Pindari horsemen to rout. You guys can switch to canister shot and begin to blast them over their heads. Fire by rank is starting. trying to push the 92nd on the flank. Islamic swordsmen, okay, pikemen charge them. Everyone else is quite, they're quite low capability units. General's bodyguard get the hell out of there. So we need to attempt to uh, squash this dervish unit. We've got them surrounded. The colonial line have fallen back on the flank here and a massed attack. Let's throw more men into the fight. You guys can come around. This infantry unit attack the landless rabble. Let's get you guys around to the rear of the Islamic swordsmen where we can engulf and destroy them. Artillery switched to round shot, engage the general. The general's routing, so I'm assuming those dervishes caught up with him. Yeah, they did. This is not good. We need to break the armed populace, this like big pustule in the centre. You're going to push those armed peasantry away, hopefully. Good. You two, two units get ready to engage the elites. You guys swing to the left. Okay, 
routes and another unit routing to you. You need to abandon your post and engage to the left. Artillery engage the Royal Indian Guards. My pikes are involved now, so they should start to fall thick and fast. Wavering. Some of our men are upset, that's understandable. You men might actually leave the combat and use your guns. This combat over here is not going to go well at all. Get the cavalry out. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. All my line that isn't, that aren't muskets, that aren't pikes, sorry. Form up. Charge my cavalry back in. Buccaneers are never going to last too long. Nope. Let's get the men to focus on a new front. Hey, it's a nice surprise. Damn right, continue. You men charge them down, you charge them down. It's probably better targets to chase down, but these men have, been, have had so much punishment from these units, it, it seems fair. Go on, knock him out. Come on, there's only one more guy left. There we go, and you got him. Cease my artillery fire. And you go after. Go after some armed peasantry. You continue to chase down these dervishes. Again, you have to keep right-clicking to make sure they... It seems to refresh, re refresh their uh, engagement logic. Sometimes it feels like if you don't do it, um, they're, all, they're all too happy to just run along next to them and not attack them really. I mean they might do some damage over time but not as quickly. Sweet. Ah, uh, eight peasantry. You should be able to take them out. Oh, that's all, there's, that's all that's left. Five. Three, one, done. Yeah, that was dodgy. Apologies, I bumped my microphone and that threw my mixer out of whack and all sorts of nonsense. But we did win. We pushed them back and they've now got... They did a 4,000, now they have 718 men in the garrison, which we will not be attacking because we are very, very weak. Minimized. Apologies. The offer to no. I don't want you to be my protectorate because I've proved in other videos that being your protectorate means diddly squat, and they will still declare war on you. So no, not gonna bother. Not gonna bother New Spain. It's good that they accept that the end is near, though. Okay, so our little home fleet under Justin Seymour come down. Chomp. We don't want any of them. Get back up to Belfast. 
Um, add some second rates to your fleet. Lots of blockaded ports. New town emerges. Gasp. Gasp. Eh? Gasp. Okay, before we do that though, I want to go down to Cuba. Because now we lost. We don't have a lot of money coming in. Because of the blockade. But Elias Haskett. You're going to go in and attack Panama. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the destruction of New Spain. Cheers everyone.